What's up guys, Arjun here from Miraviz, and today we're going to be doing a couple things. We're going to look at some demo footage, 4K and 8K demo footage. We're also going to talk about some of the pros and cons of the current version of the Miraviz screen. And I'm going to tell you guys about a promotion that we're doing which gets the price of our screen down to $1,000. So first item on today's agenda is the demo footage that we're looking at. So we have the 107 inch Miraviz screen here up on the wall and that's paired with the WiMAX Nova down here. That's the projector that we pair with in-house. We have a partnership with WiMAX for that. So the WiMAX Nova supports up to 4K and the footage that we're watching on the screen right now is 8K, which means that technically we're only watching it in 4K but if, if and when 8K and 12K laser projectors come out, our screen will be able to support the 8K and 12K quality. And the reason we're able to do that is because our screens use over 8 billion optical elements in the entire screen, which means that each single pixel of light gets split up into over 500 different light wavelengths. And so that gives us crazy control over the light that is coming out of the projector and ultimately being reflected to you. I know that's a little bit complicated, but it just means that we have uh, an unprecedented type of optics technology that we're using in our screens. It's called directed photon technology. And that gives us a lot of control over the light. It makes sure that not any light is actually reflected off to the sides or up to the ceiling. It's all concentrated and focused towards where you as the viewer would be. Another cool thing is that even though we control the light and we disperse it to a particular field of view, in this panning shot, you'll see that the screen is actually, has the viewing window of a TV. So you can view it from pretty much any angle and you're still going to get really high brightness and a picture that's going to be pleasant for you to watch. Now, number two on the list is some of the pros and cons of the Miraviz screen. Like I just mentioned, the uniformity and the view window of the screen is great. So the half gain viewing angle of our screen is 72 degrees, which is the point at which you're viewing the screen that has a real gain of 0.5. Kind of tying into that is the uniformity. So if you guys have ever watched a Fresnel projector screen, um, which is what some of the other big screen manufacturers, Fresnel is the type of technology that they're using in their screens. If you've ever watched a Fresnel screen, it's really only bright from about one spot. It's usually 10 or 15 feet away from the screen in the very center of the screen. And then whenever you move away from that center point, the brightness goes down pretty drastically. I'll put a chart up here on the screen of actually how Fresnel and the Miraviz screen compare uh, in terms of view window. And there's also something called hot spotting, which is when if you're standing off to one side or the other and you're watching a Fresnel screen, uh, there's a big difference in brightness from one side of the screen to the other. And all those optical elements that I was talking about earlier help to prevent that situation from happening with the Miraviz screen, which means that the uniformity of the screen is high. So the picture is uniform, it's clear, the light profile and the colors are evenly distributed across the screen. Another pro of the Miraviz screen is the real gain. And so real gain essentially means brightness. And the real gain of the screen behind me is 2.05, which is pretty high. Um, that's pretty much the highest that I've seen when looking at competing screens. Uh, those dark ALR screens typically have a real gain of 0.6, uh, maybe up to 0.8. Uh, 
Uh, for those dark ALR screens, they usually keep the gain low and they do achieve a pretty high ALR. Um, but that means that at the end of the day, the brightness is not there. And right now we're in a brightly lit room. Uh, we have the same fluorescent lights on and um, there's also a window over there with the blinds open. So real gain is really important. Another pro is ALR. So the ALR of this screen behind me is about 40%. And when you pair that up with the real gain of 2.05, you get a screen that's pretty much as bright as an LED or an OLED TV. The brightness is definitely on par with LED screens. Um, if you compare it to some of the newest OLED, you might be pushing it a little bit, but definitely older generation OLED displays, our screen can exceed them in terms of brightness. So now for the cons of the MiraViz screen. There's only one major con that I have to share with you guys. Um, the other cons are, are basically non-existent. But the biggest con that we have in our screen right now is something called tile to tile. So the way that we make our screens, the manufacturing process involves us basically putting the screen together. So there are different tiles of our screen material that we assemble and those pieces come together to make the big screen that you see behind me. Now, something happens sometimes that you might be able to see, which is tile to tile. And that means you being able to see as a viewer watching the screen, where those tiles, those pieces of material are connected. Now, we've been developing this particular screen for the last two years, and we've made a ton of progress. It's to the point where now you can't see those tiles unless you're standing pretty close to the screen and you're watching content that's very bright or white in color. If you're just watching normal TV, movies, sports, videos like we are right now, you're not really gonna be able to see the tile to tile unless you're really up close inspecting the screen. But I have the camera right now around 10 feet away from the screen, which is a pretty normal viewing position. Uh, most people with a screen of this size would be viewing it from around 15 feet away if you have chairs or a couch set up. And from that distance, the tile to tile is not really going to be visible. I'll show it to you guys with some bright white footage and I'll also come up close to the screen in some clips. I'm just going to overlay them now. But as you can see, at times you can make out where those lines are. They're like our family. So for everyone who is thinking about or considering getting one of the screens, um, just expect a screen that has basically all the benefits that you would want. The high gain, the ALR, the viewing window. You're pretty much getting the picture quality and brightness of a TV at a 100 inch plus size. Um, but that one trade-off, there is that one trade-off, which is the tile to tile. So if, if you have a dedicated room and you wanna make the most perfect projector screen, home theater setup, and any sort of flaw on the screen is really gonna upset you, then I probably wouldn't recommend our screen. But if you're willing to basically get the best screen on the market, and in exchange for that, accept a minor flaw that comes as part of the process with that screen, then I would highly encourage you to test out our screen. Another thing you guys wanna be careful about when you're picking up the screen is because the screen is so thin and it mounts to the wall pretty much completely flat like a wallpaper, you wanna make sure that your wall is flat enough. So if your wall has any big bumps or convexities or concavities, um, you either wanna smooth those out 
or perhaps you want to pick a different screen, we can custom make a framed screen for you, but it's going to cost uh, probably a few hundred dollars more at least. Most people's walls should be compatible, especially if your wall is concrete or drywall and it's just flat painted. But I would recommend grabbing a yardstick or a meter stick and just kind of making sure that your wall is level. Um, if you have a level that's even better, you can check it using that tool. But as long as your wall is flat there's no big bumps or anything like that, then you should be good to go. On that note, we are doing a promotion right now. We just had a promotion go live and that's actually getting the screen cost down to $1,000. So our screen used to be around $1,700. Now for customers who are based in the US, the price of the screen is actually a thousand. So. You, that means that you can pair our screen with a pretty decent projector and you can get that 100 inch or 107 inch setup for maybe 2,000, 2,500. We actually reduced the cost of our bundle with the WeMax Nova to 2,500. So the Nova plus our screen used to be 3,500. We dropped it down to 2,500 to get more folks to experience the quality of this type of setup in their home. For people who are overseas, uh, international clients, like we've had in India, China, different parts of Europe, unfortunately there are high shipping costs associated with those destinations. And that means that instead of a thousand for international buyers, the new screen price is $12.99. So it went down from $16.99 to $12.99 for international clients. And for clients in the US, the new screen price is $1,000. So want to announce that promotion to you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about the screen, just let, let us know down in the comments and we'll get back to you. With this new promotion, we're really excited. We're really looking forward to more people getting our screen in their house, testing it out and having a good time. The screen is compatible with pretty much every single ultra short throw projector on the market. As long as the throw ratio is within 0.19 to 0.23, that's gonna give you the best viewing experience. But if you have any questions about projectors, the screen sizes, the biggest we make is 107 inches right now, diagonal. Unfortunately, we don't have a 120 or a 130 yet. But if you guys have any questions, just drop them below. Check out our website or shoot us an email or a phone call if you wanna get one of these screens. We're happy to get one made and send it over to you. We have a big inventory right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll keep letting the demo footage roll because it is pretty cool. It does look great on this screen. But I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.